Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome on back to Better Minecraft, and I'm still turning invisible. Hi, how you doing today? Last episode, we built up this beautiful animal barn, but right now it's just full of leaves. All of the leaves you have liked and everything like that, and it's not looking very full, is it? You want to help me out with that one and leave a like down below? Oh, these are getting worse and worse every episode. Now to get started today, right away, I wanna fill that up with a bunch of animals. So I think we need some wheat, we need some carrots, and probably some seeds, and that should lure about everything in the area back here. I really wanna find those rainbow sheep again if I can and bring them home, just because I need rainbow wool in my life. Don't all come out at once, guys. Don't all come out at once. Of course, it's the beautiful magic chicken, fancy chicken. Not even magic, you look magical. There's sheep over there too, not fancy sheep. Mmm, you don't get a spot in the barn, sorry buddy. Come on, fancy chicken. Right down here, buddy. Come on into your brand new home. It's beautiful. You're going to love it right in here. This looks like great spot for chickens. Yeah, well, come on in. And I need to get rid of these vines because I think you can climb those out of there. Bunny? Bunny, bunny, foo-foo, hopping through the forest. Do you want to come home with me? Yes? Hippity hop your way up here. Come on, buddy. You can do this. Bunny, bunny, it's one block. You can jump like 10 blocks. I hit the bunny. I thought I hit the grass. I'm sorry. Please follow me. Piggy. Yeah, pink footed. Oh, no. Piggy, we saw nothing. Come on, buddy. Coming in at stall number two, we have the pink footed piggies. Hi, buddy. Stay on in there. I'll find you a friend. Now, I should probably mention a little bit about the plan for today's episode. I want to fill out all of the animals that we can within the animal pens in the barn over here, as we're doing right now. Come on, boys. And from there, I think it's finally time to set up a mine and go down and see if we can't find some diamonds. We've been living on broken iron tools and a very broken diamond sword that we found for way too long, so I think it's finally time to go underground. And our first baby! Huh? Yes? Yes! Oh, it's adorable! Now I'm curious as these don't look like normal sheep. What color wool do we get? Flex sheep, have you any wool? Brown wool. Brown wool's cool. More brown wool. Fancy brown sheep, I like it. I think I found every animal on the island that we want and or don't have so far. So I think it's time to head over here and I'm seeing a beautiful looking tan cow. Do you have any friends around here? Do you have any, do you have a pair? A second one of you? There's a second one. Hi buddy, come on over. Let's go this way. Come on my cowsies, cross the river. You can do it. I played the Oregon Trail. I know cows can cross these rivers. Come on guys, let's go. The sun is setting. The bears are gonna get you. Come on now. Well, there you go. One of you did it. If you only hadn't turned around. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll just sleep through the night before you get across this river. Oh, look at him, he did it, wow. You see all that weed up there? You're gonna have more than you could ever want. Come on in boys, all the way in or individual cows and make the baby. <gasps> it's also a cream cow. Oh, they're beautiful. <gasps> another pig. Oh my God, it's another pink one. Come on, buddy. Let's go find your friend. There we go. Piggies are secured and everybody's in there living a happy life. He's adorable. I love it. White sheep, white sheep. Have you seen a rainbow sheep? No. Okay, thanks. A baby sheep. Not quite what we're looking for, but oh, look at these leaves. Look at all the yellow leaves. Oh my God, we're coming back over here soon. Oh, that's dough. Oh, that's dough. Oh, oh, that was almost death. Okay, moving on. What do we have here? A grave? A deep slate grave. It's a wither rose. I don't know if I should be taking this or not. There's rooted dirt. <gasps> yes, there are chests. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. Hi, cow. Do you wanna, do you wanna just step down there? Do you wanna just like, kind of nudge you right down there? Just right, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, you like mud? You look like you might like mud. Put you in the corner with some mud. No, 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 okay, not, no. I don't think he likes mud. I don't like mud. You look like you like mud. Still no luck on the rainbow sheep though. I know where I can get them. The ones we found last episode, they're just like 1500 blocks away. By this point in time, would have been faster to go there probably, but I really don't want to track animals back that entire distance. Even if we don't find anything out here, this entire journey was worth it. Corn crops that grow to two blocks tall? This, this right here, Literally the thing I've wanted in Minecraft the most. These are really big chickens. Oh, they're ducks. Oh, oh, apparently a duck is just a chicken with a longer nose, longer neck, not a nose. Maybe the nose is bigger too. I'm not, I'm, I'm just confused. But we got another village down here, so maybe there'll be something good. I love this village though, it's beautiful. But if you think we should bring some ducks home, let me know down in the comments below. Should we collect every animal we see? Or is that too many animals? 
Why did I run in here? I don't know, but I did. Oh, he's a banner boy. We don't know. We don't want a banner boy. We don't want a banner. Nope. I just would like to leave now, please. Oh, now that they're all running after me, though, I kind of, I kind of want to see what loot they have. I kind of want to see. Their floor's missing. Their staircase is missing. I have no blocks to make a staircase with. We're swimming up. We're swimming up. It's fine. Oh, please get me in here. Yeah, thank you. You can't follow me. So not worth it. Ha ha. Take that. We leap from tree to tree in the night. No, never mind. We don't do that. We... Oh no. Oh, I'm back at spawn spawn. That's not good. Can I have your fork? Can I have your fork? It's a land trident. I would like it, please. If I just hit you into the berries. No land trident for me. And there's only another skeleton. Okay. We're just gonna run for it. Cow, keep me safe. Why are there so many mobs? What is this? No. Not you two, not you two, not you two. Please, just go. Oh, come on, guys. I made it halfway. Ah, that was dumb. That was dumb. That's that's a me. That's my fault. Yeah, that's that's my fault. All right. I've made it over. The only problem is there's two pillagers literally watching my grave right now. And then we just quickly get in and out and get our armor. And then equip this. And we take them out. There's one. Dodging, weaving. I'm professional. The ninja that can fly through the trees. Very much me. All right, we did it. We got everything back, I believe. I think that's all of our stuff. I'm ready to go home now. Oh my God, look, there they are. There's Rainbow She. Oh, this is the best day ever. Hi, hi, you're beautiful. You two, there's three of them. Oh my, and they do follow wheat. Oh, this is actually the best day ever. So I recently found out while doing this randomly hitting hotkeys, we have a map. Yep, didn't know that. We're up here and it looks like our base is down there. Oh, hey, we died over there. That's nice. The little chime with whenever they baw is the most beautiful thing ever. <gasps> oh, bear. Oh my God, there's a lot of bears. There's bear there, there's a bear there, there's a bear there. It's a very big family. Ha. The night is setting. Can I cuddle into your fur? It's so beautiful. No? Okay, that's fine. I'll sleep in my bed. Sheep, be quick now. There's a bear in the woods behind you. Come on now, let's get on land and don't alert the bear. He's growling, he's growling. This is, come on, come on. Boys, gentlemen, gentle people, gentle sheep, gentle sheep. <gasps> no, 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 no. Don't you dare. Oh, he's going after that bee. Holy cow, he does not like that bee. He is mauling the bee. The, the bee's winning. I think the bee's winning. The bee is beating the bear in a one-on-one -on -one fight. He just has to run and keep stinging him. Nope, nope. The bears, the bears got the strength. The bee had the dexterity. A new challenger, a new challenger. Oh no, there's a second bear. Sheep, you gotta stop buying for a second. We're witnessing a full-on Mortal Kombat battle over here. Oh, number B, B number two is down. The reinforcements did not work. The bear has triumphed everybody. All right, let's go this way. He's about to be the noisiest animal pens I think I've ever had. Come on in, everybody. <gasps> the baby is beautiful. Look at it back there. Oh my God, it looks like it's wearing a sweater. Why does the baby rainbow sheep look like Kenny from South Park? I don't know. Now that we have all of our beautiful animals in here, we can finally do some more fun stuff. But first and foremost, I need to shear these beautiful sheep to get as much of the rainbow wool as we can. And there's six more for us, but look at this block. That is great. That's fantastic. Colorblind me cannot even tell the difference between the blue and the purple, but I know it's there. <laughs> I want to build a little tent for ourselves as an outdoor workshop here soon with the rainbow wool, but we're going to need a little bit more of that. So before we get to that line, I want to chop down a few trees to clear some area because I wasn't kidding. We're planting a cornfield right away. And I think the perfect spot for it because I want to have a pathway in between the wheat field and the cornfield is we're just going to plop it down right here. Cause I definitely don't have enough to fill the entire thing, but I guess also in this series here, uh, we're planting a field in every episode. Cause why not? We can, we might as well. I do love me a good field. Look at our little corn plants over there. Grow my friends, grow, grow big and strong. Speaking of growing big and strong, it's time for us to get some upgrades here. And this iron pickaxe is not gonna do it today. Ooh, we do have three diamonds. Let's spend some diamonds to make some diamonds. And we need our first ever diamond pickaxe of the series. That's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna bring a bunch more torches with us just in case case. Well, sticks, I should say, to make torches, because that'll do it. But I guess before we dive too far underground, we do need to build a mine entrance for ourselves. So I'm thinking we'll bring the pathway down here. 
Then we have this little flat wall over here, which I thought could be great for a little entrance into a mine. That'll just be a ladder drop shoot, probably going down to diamond level. So we think about some fur right there and maybe right here. Strip these guys down so we get a little bit of a warmer color. And I need the most important block of all time, the wood cutter. We can try and turn this into a small archway so we can have a little bit more decoration in here. So we take some spruce stairs, probably right about there and there. And then we do trap doors, just going all the way across. And now we need to sort out the top trim. So I'm thinking we just do a little bit of dark oak piling all the way up here and try and make that same roof design we've been doing so far. Just And then I really want to use that schist block that we found earlier so we can help to kind of bring this in a little bit tighter in here. Maybe just having some of those on the sides and they'll be kind of the walls of our upper mine section. And of course, because I can't be stopped, we're gonna be bringing the fur block all the way back here. Perfect, that's looking a lot better up here. And grabbing a few of our decorative leaves, we might be able to throw these guys right up here to get some cool color in this. I like it, I like it. And then hopefully this vine will start growing all over the place because that's the only one I have. And of course, flowers. But I wanna add some more schist block into here. So maybe it looks like we have a little bit of an area out in the front, like that. That looks like a much better little mine entrance in here. Now, of course, we need lanterns. And I'm thinking sitting right on top of a few of these post blocks could be a great space for them because they don't connect to the walls. So I kind of love it. Oh, look at that. That's really, really cool. Okay, perfect. Now we just need to clear some space on the inside. I've been working on decorating the front entrance over here and got something I kind of like. So we brought in another layer of the stripped fur and then we got a few more of the posts in here just as some supporting structures. And now we've got the main room right back here. And we end with a cool little room like this. And then I think from here, we can basically just dig a ladder going straight down to diamond level so we could just pop up and down super quickly. Now for the storage inside this room, I figured we could just use some barrels going straight up here as if they were like pillars holding everything up and we can turn them into a small archway right here with a bunch of trap doors around it with maybe a lantern right over the drop chute so we're like hey uh, be careful when you're walking around here because that uh, that's gonna be a fart drop there we go this is looking much better in here very gray very very gray but that i think is where our ceiling can come in where i hope we have enough because i have no more brick after this we could bring in a few of the brick slabs going all the way back across here. Oh my God, I'm gonna be one shy. Thanks, thanks game. Maybe we can work this into our benefit here of throwing instead a composter right there. And the lantern can hang off the base of that. Yeah, because then it looks like it's being supported by the ceiling. Okay, nice. From here, I just need to link a pathway back up to our village and we are all good to go with our mining expedition and I'm gonna need another new shovel. I'm really excited to have this entire island that we're living on right now just completely transformed into these beautiful cottagecore vibes and I wanna go get so many more colorful leaves. But every time I build out a new pathway, I just get so excited for what we're expanding this area into. I've decided my goal for this series here is gonna be to fill up this entire island with a bunch of cool buildings and just different unique stuff that we can add around the place. So if you have any ideas on things that I should add, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But there we go. Check out this little mine. Oh, it's adorable. I, I'm loving this. And the vines are actually starting to grow around the place. So I think after some mining missions, we'll be able to move those around and detail this a touch more which mostly means just spamming quite a few crates around. I'm really bummed that I can't figure out how to use these. <laughs> I don't think they have an inventory space for what I've looked at online to try and find anything about them. But look how cute they are. I love them. They're so nice. But here we have a nice little wagon for ourselves. Maybe the wandering trader dropped this off. It's got a little storage chest on top of it. And then we have some actual storage right over there if we need it. But that's looking great. No, the wagon's in the way. We're moving it. Gotta think of that screenshot potential, my friends. The thumbnail. Everything's about the thumbnail. So we put this right up here. Much better. Look at that. Oh, it's adorable. I could spend way too many hours decorating this area out. So just adding a few final bits of leaves. Don't worry, we're not gonna go too crazy. But I do have to get a few flowers in here at least. Like, come on now. It's we gotta. We we can't not put flowers in these builds. See? 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 Worth it. So very worth it. And now I've got 80 ladders for ourselves and it's time to just go straight down. Yeah, this is a very smart idea. I know, I know, I'm very, very intelligent. I will at least be kind of smart here and do a two wide hole from this point here so we can get a little bit more space and then we don't fall in lava. Well, this F3 screen is insane, but we're down at Y level 11 now and I don't really know anything that's around here too much, but I feel like if we go to zero or maybe even all the way down to whatever the new bedrock is. But before we go all the way down, I'm gonna leave a little ring up here so that we can at least stop at Y level 11 
That's always diamond level in regular Minecraft, but who knows in modded? That is a very, very long ladder to get all the way back up there. And right now we are at negative 16. So I want to just dig around here a bit and see if we can maybe find something. Going through deep slate is going to be a little painful though. Nothing too great yet. Just a little bit of iron and a little bit of redstone. So hopefully we... I want to find a cave. I want to find a cave system. If we don't get one here soon, we'll go back and explore that giant one we did find. I was just kind of hoping to get lucky and find one right underneath our base. Well, I've dug this entire tunnel and I haven't found anything down here yet besides a little bit more copper. But come on, where's the cave systems? I heard a zombie growling over in this direction, so maybe we can get something right here. <gasps> yes, okay, perfect. I was about to do the old trick of turning on subtitles to see if we could find anything. <gasps> Tough block though. Seeing a little bit of gold up here, but no diamonds so far. These caves are very difficult to walk around in. Holy cow, they're super skinny. Ooh, more gold though. I see a light down at the end of the tunnel and it's lava. Okay, um, avoiding that. One day, one day we might find some diamonds and some mobs. It's eerily quiet down here. <gasps> diamonds, yes, our first underground diamonds. Oh, this is amazing. Well, diamond, please be more. No, it was only one. Oh no, that hurts. There was another one. There was another one hidden back here. Thank you, we at least get two of them. Okay, now we're starting to get into some much larger caves over here. We might be able to find something new. A geode, something new. Is anything unique in these in the mod pack? No, nope, looks like a regular geode. Still beautiful though. There will never not be a magical moment about finding a geode for the first time in a Minecraft world. Man, I'm so happy they added these into the game. We can take some of the crystals with us though and make a spyglass so we can finally start zooming in on things again. We're definitely gonna be coming back here soon when we need some more amethysty stuff, but that'll be fine for now. Maybe we can use some of that to decorate a bit. I really like that purple color. We need to not be in the deep dark. All right. Oh, hi, Skelly. Maybe we need to be in the deep dark. Ooh, dripstone, something new. Look at that. Wow, a little dripstone cave. So nice. Okay, bye. I'm so glad I brought extra wood for more torches because I was running really low and I am super lost right now. I did find a cave going upwards, so maybe we can find some above zero things that'd be a little bit more interesting, because I think, what are we at now? Ooh, we're up at eight. Wow, look at us getting very high. And it ends. There's nowhere else for this cave to go. Found this underwater area, though, all the way in the deep dark. <gasps> There's fishies down here. How do you guys live all the way down this low underground? But look at that. Oh, more diamonds. Yeah, I'm so glad I came down here. I'm going to drown before I pick these up, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no way. Okay, above, up, 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 up. Let us be smart about this one here. We can create a small little box and trap ourselves in and we do the torch and we do another torch. Look at that, professional Minecrafter. And I flooded it. Trying to be a professional Minecrafter here, please. There we go, six diamonds. Oh, that's that's good. That's, that's actually very good for us. Nothing else really in here besides some gold that I'm not gonna risk dying over and a bunch of cod. I don't know why I do it, I do it because I must. Come here, please. Oh, I'm drowning, oh, I'm drowning. Oh, that hurts. Cleansing the cod from the world one pond at a time. Ooh, yes, okay, we found the strip mine and there is the ladder. Let's go back up. I, I think we're leaving the deep dark for now. If you know of anything I can find down there, please be sure to let me know. Decided to start mining up at Y level 11 and I'm hearing some flowing water around here somewhere. Oh my gosh, there we go. Wait, wait, no, no, you're breaking everything. My torches, no, not anything but my torches. Look at those beautiful little crystals down there and oh, we are in a ravine. Okay, <gasps> white crystals though. Wait, these are amazing. Now we're getting somewhere. These were the caves I was looking for. Oh, don't, 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 don't fall down. Oh, okay, okay, we got him, we got him, we got him. All right, we're good. <laughs> Now, what is that? That's, that worries me. What is this? Oh, it's abandoned mine shaft. Oh yes, we're finally getting things. <gasps> what is that? Getting things, oh my gosh. A Zeus staff. Summons lightning at the target point, also neutralizes lightning damage while in the main hand. You see that creeper? Oh wait, that's gonna charge the creeper. No, it's not. He didn't get charged. Good. <laughs> that could be a very bad way to die. Take this, zombie. Oh, I, I missed, I missed, I missed, I tried. No, I did hit him. Oh, look at me. Oh, hi, buddy. Boom. That didn't, did that do anything? <gasps> it did something. Aha, take that. Whatever feature in this game decided that I needed the ability to summon lightning at a moment's notice, I like them. I really, really like them. Also, this crystal cavern in here, these are so cool. I'm waiting until I get silk touch. I learned last time, you need silk touch to harvest these things. So we're gonna wait for that. Really wish that would supercharge them, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. 
Oh, oopsies. Okay. I see you, skeleton. Oh, it's got a max range. Bummer. All right, I'm onto my last torches here. We got to find some diamonds and some coal so we can keep going. I got plenty of wood, but no coal. And now we have coal. Oh, there's so many things. Oh, there, why are there so many creepers? This is my nightmare. Oh, no, spiders bouncing everywhere. All right, we did it. We got them all. That's, uh, I feel a little safer now. Diamonds? Iron. Just gonna throw those out in the corner. Finding diamonds is proving to be a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. But I'm hoping this giant cave down here might have something. We're back down pretty far in the negatives at negative 25 right now. But like, look at all this iron that we have here. That's a great amount. I'm really wishing I had fortune right about now, but this will have to do. We were able to get 29 raw iron just out of this little bit alone. I'm gonna poke my head around the corner here. See what else is down in this point. Oh, lots of mobs and things. Okay, hi. But unveiled diamonds. Yes, finally. Yes, 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 yes. This means we can get an enchanting table. Wait, that's a block of raw iron down here. Hold up, that is huge. That's nine iron in itself. Oh, that's amazing. Bringing us up to a stack and a half of iron. That's really, really good. We had like none back at home. I only want to get a diamond pickaxe for now until we can get into the nether. But look right up there, my friends. More die creeper, creeper. Nope, nope, creeper, you see nothing. Don't look, don't look here, buddy. Don't, don't, don't you look. He looked. Yes, perfect. I've come to the realization that we just got very, very, very unlucky on the first caves that we found. More d -d -d diamonds right up here. Look at that. What are these eyeballs? I want to know. What are you? He's gone. Where'd he go? I will find out one of these days. I will find out. Mark my word. The comment section will tell me what they are. We're up to 19 diamonds though, so that is really awesome. We got almost a stack of gold and almost two stacks of iron here. But I believe there's one more little cave system down here to explore, and that might be time to head back above ground and, you know, just make sure all of our loot makes it home safe. Hey, look at this. We got a bunch of obsidian from the lava. Ooh, we do need some of that for ourselves. We've got a good amount of obsidian back at home that we've looted from some chests, so I don't think I actually need that much. I'm just gonna grab three for an enchanting table. That should be good right there, and I think we have enough to make a portal back home already. So now to find my way out of here. Back in the crystal forest, so we must be pretty close to our tunnel. Right, okay, all the way over here, we have the abandoned mine shaft again, which we'll have to explore soon. And this should be home. Yes, awesome. It's raining up here, and can we just point out the fact that in here, can barely hear a subtle rainfall. And then listen to that, minus the endermen jumping around. It's beautiful out here. Oh, the crops are gonna love this. I made it back home and put everything inside of the smelters and sorted out all of our blocks so they are all back in their chests and everything like that. And inside of here, we have 19 diamonds. First and foremost, we need a new diamond pickaxe. But there is a diamond boomerang, also diamond broadsword. War axe? Broadsword. War axe is same, but that's like, wait, the attack speed is like twice as fast. I'm sorry, but a war axe sounds great. Or rapier. Ooh, but that, look how... I'm so confused. Is higher attack speed better or is that worse? I don't know, but we're going to try War Axe. I think it's worse though. Oh my gosh, that's slow. Okay, it's a decorative War Axe. It now sits right there on our pants and I think we can put this guy into the bow slot. No, we can't. Oh, that's a big bummer. Regardless, we still need our backup pickaxe, so that is looking great. And I'm thinking beyond that... We probably should get a chess piece, or maybe more importantly, because I don't really care if I die too much, we might be able to acquire both here. It's not diamonds all the way around. Check this out. The bejeweled backpack is four emeralds and four diamonds, so we can do both. Look at that. And then the blazing one, we need four netherite ingots and magma blocks. Holy cow. Okay. But look at that. There's another two rows of inventory in there. Perfect. All right. And then on top of this, Let's do that diamond chest plate, and there we go. My gosh, my friends, I totally forgot to name the dogs today, but I am way the heck out of time for this one. So thank you all so very much for watching. I do hope you did enjoy it. We've got this war axe that we'll have to try out next time because it seems like it's going to do a lot of damage. I keep forgetting I turn invisible. 
Maybe one more time here we can grow the old cornfield. But I'm really happy with this mine entrance. I want to get a lot more building done in the next episode. So whatever you want to be seeing, be sure to let me know. I think we're going to have to do something with the enchanting table and get that set up rocking. So if you have ideas on a way that we can do it that's unique. If you're enjoying better Minecraft, please be sure to click that like button down below as it helps me out a bunch. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. My friends, thank you all so very much for watching. And with that, I will catch you on the flip side.